Hey yo, what is up Thrill Seekers? Today I am coming to you from an active construction site here over at Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. This is super, super exciting. Um, we really haven't seen too much work, as in at least cosmetically, from the last time we've been here. Um, you can see that the trains are still in that storage shack, uh, or the storage shed, um, and they are just being uh, wrapped up with some tarps. Um, there are a couple maintenance workers in there, um, and they did fully um, cover this this uh, station, sh uh, sorry, the storage shed area. Um, so that's, I guess, really your only like cosmetic thing is they did fully cover um, the storage shed area. Um, plus, we can confirm that the panel operator for this ride will be indoors, as you can see by the building over there, which is super, super nice for us operators. Um, but Anyways, in terms of, uh, again, cosmetically, there's really not too much to see. Um, the only real stuff that I can update you guys on is more on the procedure side. Um, they are, at least the maintenance personnel from Fiesta, Texas, are currently being taught how to oper uh, how to, sorry, how to inspect the trains in the morning, um, kind of what to look for, um, how to inspect the trains, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so they are starting to get ready for those test cycles when maintenance is going to have to inspect these trains every morning. Um, and they're already starting to kind of do that handoff where it's like, all right, now let's start to train the Fiesta Texas employees how to take care of this ride. Um, so yeah, so again, maintenance is starting to learn how to inspect and take care of the trains as well as the track the lift motor all of that kind of stuff um the panel i have been told is already installed um so that's super awesome um and they are kind of doing electrical tests right now um that is most of what they're doing um at least from my inside sources they are saying that um the the maintenance team is doing a whole bunch of electrical tests making sure that all of the sensors are up doing what they are supposed to be doing um making sure that the uh theoretically relatively soon we should see the lift motor start to run um and a whole bunch of other stuff along those lines um we can see that they are starting to kind of level out um a lot of the area here um so that they can um i don't, I don't really know what they're gonna do with it um maybe put some grass in there um something along those lines just so that it's not just dirt um going all along where the ride is um but but again they are doing a lot um just not much cosmetically so it may not look like they're doing a lot but on the maintenance side of things on the electrical side of things they are really cranking through and starting to put the final touches on so that we can start seeing testing soon um in terms of opening kind of what what we should be looking at is probably going to be more closer to July um, in terms of when this ride is going to open. So um, if you are coming before then, um, I, uh, you know, I've, I've said this before, but don't don't expect to ride this thing in June um, that, yeah, I, I would I would say if you want to be safe, come mid July. Um, and that is when I would say by then this ride should at least be in previews. So yeah, again, a lot of stuff happening, just not much co cosmetically, but it is super exciting to see the maintenance team starting to learn how to uh, inspect the ride, um, just so that we can start seeing that handover um, from from the maintenance, or sorry, from, from B&M um, and Northwest Coasters, who is the company who was constructing this ride, over to our Six Flags Fiesta Texas park team. Um, and once testing starts and all that, we should start seeing some ride operators get trained on this ride, which will be another huge step in that. And yeah, super, super excited. I have to say, one of my favorite things about working here is just coming in super early and seeing all the, just the deadness, you know? There's no one in the park. 
super crazy. Alrighty, I am go actually a little bit later today when I get the chance, I'm gonna go over to the other side of Dr. Diabolical's construction. So let's see that. They have started to put up some of the fences for the danger zones, um, a little bit more theming as well, pouring some more concrete. So let's take a hop over there. And here we are at the other side of the construction site for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. The main things that we can see here are all of the fences going up. These went up super quick, literally within the net last three days, um, these were erected. So definitely moving super, super fast in terms of that. Um, and it, it really does show that they are starting to do more of the, you know, not, not as major stuff, right? Um, they're starting to do all of the fences. They're starting to paint stuff, right? Basically get all of the finishing touches on, um, which really shows that testing should be starting soon. Now we should be seeing this ride open most likely in July is, is kind of the timeline that I'm looking at. Um, but they did install just a little bit of netting up here so that if anyone does still have loose articles, um, they will not drop down and hit people on this pathway. Um, there are the shade structures that I was talking about a little bit earlier for this outdoor section of the queue. Um, they look amazing. Um, the inside there does seem like um, it is being finished up um, in terms of all the theming and the, the queue, uh, queue line elements, the, um, the pre-show, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so super, super excited still for this ride to open. But man, is this gonna be a cool shot once there are trains going down that drop. Um, anyways, yeah, super excited for this. And that's basically gonna be it for this construction update here at Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out, bye.